problem. So in today's video we will learn how to combine logic gates in Vivado. So the circuit we want to produce is this one. So we have uh, three inputs, one output, one OR port and one END port. So let's open Vivado. We want to create a project. Next, we give it a name. We'll call it comb logic. Next, next. Of course, I'll choose the basis three FPGA board. Next, finish. So first, let's change the target language from Verilog to BHDL. Okay. So now we need to add the design sources. So add or create design sources. Next. Create file. So now we need to add three design sources. The top level. Okay. The end port. and the OR port. OK. Finish. So now Vivado asks uh, to declare the ports. So for the top level we have three inputs. We'll call it IN1, IN2, IN3. And then we have one output, we'll call it out1. Okay, for the end port we have one input, A, the other input, B, and the output, C. And for the OR port we have also two inputs, so X, Y, and Z as an output. OK. So now Vivaldi is creating the VHD files. So let's start with the end port. We can open it. And uh, here we need to write C. A and B. Control S to save. So now let's open the OR port. Here we need to write Z X or Y. Control S to save. OK, so now we need to open the top level. So we need to declare the two components, the end port and the OR port. So component and B is port. We have A in STD logic. B in STD logic and then we have C as an output STD logic and and component So now we need to declare also the OR port. So component OR P is port. We have X Y
and Z. And now we need to declare a signal. We'll call it wire. And this signal is used to connect the output of the OR port to the input of the end port. So now we need to do the port map in order to connect the inputs and the outputs of the logic gates to the inputs and the outputs of the top level. So So here we are connecting the first input of the OR port to the first input of the top level, the second input of the OR port to the second input of the top level, and then the output of the OR port will connect it to the signal we have declared, so wire. Okay, so now we need to do the port map also for the end port. So now the first input of the end port is the third input of the top level. The second input of the end port will be the output of the OR port so the signal wire and then the output of the end port will be connected to the output of the top level which is out one okay control s to save So now you see that in the sources tab, the VHD file top.vhd is set as top level because we have declared the end port and the or port inside the top.vhd file. So now we can open the elaborated design in order to check the circuit. And as you can see, the circuit is correct. We have the two inputs of the top level that go in the OR port, and then the output of the OR port goes as an input to the end port, and then the output of the end port is connected to the output of the top level. So now we can run the synthesis. Okay. Okay, now we can open the synthesized design. Of course, we need to close the elaborated design. So now in IO ports, we have four scalar ports, three inputs and one output. So the three inputs, uh, we will connect them to the switches. So the first input in one will go to the first switch, which is R2, standard LAV CMOS 33. The second input in two will connect it to the second switch, which is T1. The third input will connect it to the third switch, which is U1. And then the output, we will connect it to the first LED, which is L1.
Okay, control S to save. Okay, then Vivado will create the constraint file. Okay. So now we can generate the bitstream. Yes. Okay. And now we can close the synthesize design. So in design runs, we can check the status of the synthesis. So now that the implementation is finished, we can open the hardware manager. Now we can turn on the FPGA board. So we need to open target, auto connect. And now we can program the device with our bitstream top.bit program. So now we have the this switch, which is the first input of the OR port. This switch is the second input of the OR port. And this switch is the input of the end port. So if we switch on this switch and this switch, the LED will be high. So thank you guys for watching this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, share the video with your friends and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook.